Parallel plotting can also be performed in Jump. So to do this, first let's load our data. Let's come to help and then go to sample library. And then you can search for DOG and then just double click on that. That brings about the dog table. So over here, you can use parallel plots to visualize each cell in a data table. So it helps you to visualize this. And this dog table contains the histamine level measurement for 16 dogs that were given to different types of drugs, morphine and trimed. So you have the histamine levels and then the dogs and what was the result of the levels after given being given these two drugs so you can come in to graph and then parallel plot so here the first thing you want to do is come to rows and under rows go to color or mark by column and then you can select drag and select okay you've marked the the, uh, the color of morphine as red and then as trimed as blue so now we can come into create graph and then go to parallel plot and under parallel plot you want to select on the y response or the histamine levels so this one that one that one and then this one and then hit OK. So this opens the parallel plot for us and each connected segment represents single observation. And you can click on a line segment to see which observation or row it corresponds to in a data. So here is row 10, here is row 3, Yes, row four, and then he has row 12. So you can see the blue and the red for the two different drugs. But if you like to see just one observation, you can come to row again and then go to data filter. And then you want to select drug and then click the plot sign. So now you're going to have an option to select morphine or trimine. So if you want to see, let's say trimine, you see that? And if you want to see morphine, you see that. So you can use this to filter. A quick observation here is, this is the histamine levels of 16 dogs after being given trimine. This is the blue line. Now for most dogs, the histamine levels had a sharp drop after one minute. So you have the blue here and see it has a short sharp drop after one minute. About four of them, you can see that the levels were still higher. So that is something that you would like to investigate why. And you see that even the other four, it, it still stays pretty flat, but the others are up there. And you can do same for morphine and see that okay for this one most of them are sharp there's a drop after being given morphine the histamine level is quite low but you can still investigate with these two and see how they are correlated with the other so that's that's basically what you can do with this and then the regular edit you can drop this one down and do um show reversing checkboxes show or hide checkboxes for reversing the axis on different y so you can let's say do this one do that do that and do that so this is like if you want to just reverse the axis sometimes people need it that way you can do that and then local data fit filter and then also redo you can come back and redo let's say a column switcher so i uh, switch some of the columns back if you have more columns and you want to see them in here you can just select the column that you want and then just it will switch in here for you 
and then also another redo so this is what we did um here is for the columns where you choose the columns to go in the y response variables appear on the horizontal axis of the parallel plot these values are plotted and connected to the parallel plot so you see them here we we have these on the parallel plot and then the x groupings we made it optional um sorry it's optional but we didn't put anything here this produces a separate parallel plot for each level of the variable and then you typically have this by in most of the um graphs so the by identifies a column that creates a report consistently to separate analysis for each level of the specified variable and then you have these two that you can check on and check so the scale uniformity represents all variables on the same scale adding a y axis to the plot without this option each variable is on a different scale so you have it on one scale and then also center at zero centers the parallel plot not the variables at zero so you can also play with that so for instance if you do this one it just gives you a different plot but it centers at zero um if you come back and do redo and go to real launch analysis let's do scale uniformity and this also launches a new one and it gives us that uniformity as well so here you can visualize much better and you can see that the variations are, are clearly here so what is really happening to these row numbers row number three row number 12 so the dog all those dogs on those rows so like 3 11 what happened and you can investigate more to their levels and why they are deviating